Welcome to the features video of Abandoned Cart Recovery Extension. Once the extension is installed, go to Admin Panel and click on Cart Recovery. Here you can configure Cart Recovery, Automatic Emails, Settings. Go to Settings to set up the extension. In General Settings, you can enable Abandoned Cart feature to record cart abandonments and recover them. Set the time after which the cart should be considered abandoned. For example, when the cart becomes inactive for one hour, it will be considered as abandoned. Delete Abandoned Cart feature allows you to delete abandoned carts after some time for auto cleaning. Cart Recover and Pay Order button text can be customized. These buttons are included in recovery emails. Let's go to Pending Order Settings. You can enable Disable Recovery of Pending Orders. You can select multiple order statuses to send them recovery emails. Now let's go in User Settings. Here, you can enable Pending Orders Recovery for specific user roles. You can also enable Abandoned Cart Recovery for guest users and capture their email from checkout or display a pop-up to pre-capture their email address. You can choose to include the privacy text in the pop-up for GDPR purpose. Let's go to Coupon Settings. Here, you can configure Coupons prefix used in recovery emails. You can delete coupons once used for auto-cleaning. You can also choose to delete coupons when expired. The coupon expiry date is set while including coupon in recovery email. Now go to Cron Job Settings. Cron Job is used to send the pending recovery emails and update the abandoned carts grid. You can set it as per your store activity. Let's go to Front End to create a test cart abandonment. Go to Shop and add some products in cart. When the user leave their cart, it will be considered as abandoned after the time specified in the General Settings tab. Let's go to Back End. Go to Cart Recovery. Here, you can see the dashboard showing abandoned cart, pending orders, and recovery statistics. These statistics will help you to gauge your recovery campaign results and improve them. Go to Abandoned Carts now. This tab shows all abandoned carts. You can view cart status, last recovery email sent, and from the dropdown, you can choose to send any recovery email template manually. The automatic and manual recovery emails template can be configured from here, which we have explained in the latter part of the video. You can edit to see the details. You can see the customers and cart details here. Now let's see how the pending orders are recorded here for recovery. Just like Abandoned Carts Grid, this tab shows the list of pending orders, their recovery status, and last recovery email sent to them. You can send automatic and manual emails from the dropdown. Let's go to the Recovered Cart tab. Here you can find all the recovered carts along with their details. The Emails Log tab here lists all emails sent out from our extension, which includes both automatic and manual emails. Now let's configure the recovery email templates. Here, you can create unlimited manual and automatic email templates. To create a new template, click on Add New Template. Add email title here. Customize the email body text. Here you can include the text that will be included in the recovery email. You can use the variables to add different information in the email body, like names, cart subtotal, coupon, coupon expiry date, cart table, recovery button, and link. Here, you can see an option to activate delete the email. You can assign the email to pending order or abandoned cart recovery. Customize the email subject. Select the checkbox to send this email automatically, or keep this unchecked to send it manually. Set the time after which email will be sent. Please note two things here. The email will be sent just for once. The time is considered after the cart abandonment. For example, if you have sent one hour time to consider cart as abandoned and one hour to send the email, the email will be actually sent after two hours. 
assign the email template to user roles. This enables you to set different email templates for different user roles and include, exclude, coupon, and other details in email. If you are making template for abandoned cart, you can see coupon settings at the end. You can enable coupon, set its value in fixed or percentage of cart total amount. Finally, the coupon expiry date is set from here. Please note, once the coupon is enabled, you need to include it in the email using the variables here. Here is an example abandoned cart recovery email. You can see it has coupon, cart details, and direct recovery link. In case of pending order, this link is replaced with pay order button and sends user to order section in my account page to complete the purchase. Thank you for watching.